When determining the amount of horizontal displacement deduction, the location of the majority of the foot will be important. In this example, only the heels have crossed into the 1 tenth deduction area. Because the majority of the foot remains in the zero deduction area, no deduction would be taken. In this example, the arches have crossed the 1 tenth deduction line, which is a common reference point for the majority. As such, the 1 tenth deduction would be taken in this instance. A 1 tenth deduction would also be taken in this example as only the toes remain in the zero deduction area with a majority of the foot in the 1 tenth deduction area. In this example, only the very edge of the foot has crossed into the 2 tenth deduction area. Therefore, no deduction would be taken. However, in this example, more of the foot has crossed into the 2 tenth deduction area and therefore the higher deduction would be taken. If the feet end up in different deduction areas, the higher deduction will be taken. In this example, a 2 tenth deduction would be taken, and in this example, a 1 tenth deduction would be taken. For body landings, the hip joint will serve as the determining point for deductions. In this example, no deduction would be taken as the hip joint remains in the center box. In this example, the hip joint is on the line and will therefore be considered in the area of less deduction. A 0.1 deduction would be taken on this example as the joint has now crossed into the 1 tenth deduction box. The same remains true for front and back drops. Here are examples showing the hip joint in the 0 deduction box, on the line, and in the 1 tenth deduction box. Sometimes, in real time, there can be situations in which you aren't sure if the line has been crossed or not. In this instance, you should just use your best judgment for the deduction. In real time, any of these examples can be taken as either zero or one-tenth of deduction.